In this week's Photoshop tutorial, I'll teach you how to do an autumn color effect in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me over at RitaPro.com, the channel where you get to learn everything about Photoshop and photography in weekly quick tutorials. So in this week's Photoshop episode, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do a really cool color effect that suits the autumn season right now. We're gonna work with some selective color adjustment layer, some curves and some other great stuff. So yeah, let's head right away into the tutorial. Okay, so over in Photoshop in my right hand side here in the layers palette, you guys get to see already the finished drawing result. So right away it says here autumn colors. So let's actually switch this off. So this is our before and this is the after. So yeah, I'm going to teach you guys how to do this and let's get right away into this. I'm just going to take the start image, move it all the way to the top so we have a fresh start. So right away I can see that this image is a little bit bright and also lacks a little bit of saturation and a bit of colors. So first of all what I would do is add a bit of colors, meaning a bit of yellows and a bit of reds. So let's do that. We're going to head all the way over to adjustments and go right away to hue and saturation adjustment layer. Okay, select that. And then right away here in the master tones, we're going to switch first of all over to reds. Now in the red tones, I don't want to play with the hue, which you can do actually, but you'll get some different effects. I do not want to play with the hue right now. I just want to play with the saturation and that's it. So first of all, I'm going to push the saturation up quite a lot. Maybe let's go to like a plus... 10 or 15. I'm going to go with the plus 10. Okay. And then also now on the tones, again, switch also over to yellow. Okay. So with yellow, I think I'm going to push it quite a lot. Something around 20, 30. Yes, we can actually go a little bit further. Something around 40 to 42. Okay. I think 42 it is. Now, again, let's have a look quickly before and after. So basically, we're just adjusting the saturation on the image just with the reds and yellow tones. Now, a good thing is you can always later go back into this adjustment layer and then always fall back into the reds and pull them down again if they are too hard. Because obviously, we're going to work with some more adjustment layers, maybe a bit of curves and also the selective color adjustment layer. And it might also overdo the red saturation. So again, remember, maybe I'll come back and change this. But for now, let's head over back to adjustments once again. We're going to go to the curve adjustment layer. And now I want to apply just a subtle uh, contrast curve here. So just the contrast down a bit, the blacks. Okay, like so. I'm also going to push the highlights back up again. I don't want them to blow out so much. Okay, you guys can also see you can drag them down even further if you want here. I'm actually going to leave them a bit brighter. Okay, like so. And also what I want to do now is take the bottom anchor point here with the blacks and just flatten the blacks just a little bit. So have a look here in all the shadow areas how the blacks actually fade out. So if I'll drag this up a bit more, it fades even more. So I'm not going to overdo this. You guys can obviously play a little bit with this until you are happy with your result. Okay, I'm going to leave it over there and let's quickly have a look before and after. So this was just mainly adding the colors and now before and after just with the simple curve adjustment layer. Again, remember, you can always fall back into these adjustment layers and play again with them. Now, I'm going to head back to adjustments and go to selective color adjustment layer. And first of all, I'm going to start out just here with the tones and I'm going to work with the black tones. Normally, I start working with the natural tones, but this way or this time, I'm going to work with the black tones first. Okay, so first of all, let's push down the cyan just a little bit so we have a bit more of that orange tone. I'm going to go with something like plus or actually minus here, minus 10 to 11. And that's obviously a bit different for your image. So play a little bit. I used to take the slider always all the way down to the left side or up to the right side and then slowly bring it back. So something like magentas, I want to add magentas to the shadow parts again. So I'll push it up all the way and then slowly bring it down until I'm happy. Okay, and I'll play a little bit more. I'll just scribble here. Yep, so again, a little bit more down. I think something like a plus 10, 11, that should do. Again, let's have a look quickly before and after, before and after. Okay, maybe it's a little bit too much. I'm going to take them still down to like a plus 9. Then yellows, uh, they are quite strong now because we obviously updated the saturation here. So let's maybe take them down just like a little notch here. Yeah, like a minus 9 or 8. Okay, and now blacks. Have a look if we tweak them down. Yep, then we're also getting a bit more 
that faded look that we had before. So I don't want to overdo it. Maybe just like a minus two or three. Quickly before and after. Yep, and that's just a small touch. Great. So let's also now move over to the natural tones and also work a little bit in those. For that, again, I will work with just in very subtle movement, like a plus four to plus five or minus one to three maximum, not more than that. You don't want to overdo it. All right, so I'm going to check the cyans down a little bit. Yep, not sure entirely what I want. So maybe I'll take them up. Yeah, like a plus one, like a plus one actually. Then magenta, let's have a look also if we upgrade them a little bit. It's a very, very strong effect here, as you guys can see. So just very subtle movements, like a plus three or four there. Okay, yeah, plus five it is. And then also yellows, let's have a look. Do we need to tweak them? Yeah, we're getting a lot of purple color tones there. So I would just go like with a minus one or two for that. And then blacks also, push them up. A bit more contrast again, like a plus two or three. Yeah, plus, plus three actually. Let's have a quick look here before and after, before and after. Okay, so again, a lot of new colors in there. Also now, remember, if the reds are too intense now, fall back to your hue and saturation layer, go back into the reds over here, and push them down again a little bit. So you guys will see it, the reds slowly disappear. Okay, I'm just going to press Command Z, go step back again. I'm working with the Mac, so that's Command for me. If you're on a Windows computer, please press Control when I say Command. Okay, so for me, I'm just going to take it slightly down to like a plus 8, plus 7. Okay, great. So I'm actually happy now with my uh, whole result here. Let's quickly have a look. This is the before and after. But now I still want to add one more touch to this, and this is adding a bit of a yellow color cast. So what I'll do is first of all go all the way down here to our adjustment layers as well and select solid color. Now under solid color, I want to pick a new color. It should be some yellow here, and I've already chosen to go with a certain color code. So that will be B4 and then 8800. You guys can obviously copy exactly the same. Now I'm going to hit OK. And first of all, change here the blending options all the way to color. So let's go over to color. And we have already adjusted that. But obviously it's still too strong. So we need to tweak the op opacity just a little bit down. So for that, I will go with something like 10. Let's type in 10 for the start. Okay, not 110, just 10 as a subtle fill here. So let's have a look before and after. And if you want some more yellow in this, you can obviously push this up a little bit more, like to 20, 25, but that's then a very yellow. So I would take it down again, just to like a plus 14, plus 13. Again, before and after, before and after. So just adding a little yellow color touch to it as well. Okay, final step would be now adding another gradient. Obviously the main light source is here coming from the left-hand side. I think it's the sun. So some ambient light, and let's also add another touch to this. So first of all, with my foreground colors here, let's double tap on that. And I also want to pick pretty much something that we have already here, like a deep yellow, sorry, deep purple there. Let me look something darker, actually. Yep, like so. I'm going to hit OK, and this is selected as my foreground color. Now, I will go back to the adjustment layers here, and just select the gradient over here. And first of all, you guys can now see that it is switched here to foreground into transparent. So the second gradient is selected. Okay, so with this, I'm just going to make it slightly from the left hand side. So it's only coming from this side. So again, my angle here changed to 24, maybe even 30, 30 would also work. And then I'm just going to hit OK. But for the last step is just taking down the opacity again on this. So I'll take it all the way down to like a 70, 50. It's a little bit too hard for me. 35. Okay. And again, yeah, let's keep it with 35, actually. Type it out here. 35. There we go. And let's have a look quickly. The before and after, before and after. So it doesn't look too great with this gradient. Maybe I would leave it out, actually. So I'm not losing the pop here. Or if you want, again, just move it over slightly way out of the frame. So basically the whole gradient over here. Okay. So again, before and after. So it's totally up to you if you want to use the gradient. Maybe it's also not so nice or you want to tweak it down further so you don't lose that pop. And it's just very subtle here in the background. Okay, select all the groups with shift again on the keyboard. Press command G, 
put it all together in a group and you can rename it to whatever you want. I'm just going to write here color. And obviously, yeah, let's have a look quickly again. The before and after, before and after. Guys, so that's basically it for again creating the color effect here in Photoshop that suits the autumn season. Remember, you can always fall back into your selective color adjustment layer and the hue and saturation in order to go to the master tones with red and yellow and tweak them down a little bit again if you don't want it too saturated. So yeah, if you're like me and just can't get enough of Photoshop, click on your screen right now to subscribe. We send out free Photoshop and photography tutorials every single week. And guys, if you want to share something with us or get in touch, leave your feedback down below in the comment section or send us your tutorial request right away to tutorials at RithaPro.com. Thanks again guys for watching. I'll catch you all in the next tutorial. Yeah, and you are still here, so that means you want to see some more videos then you should just check here on the right hand side are some more videos bundled just for you. And for you who are still interested to know more about this, have a look in the description. There's a link directly to our website where you can download this file, including the video and practice right away with us. Yeah, I wanted to always say that. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. See you next time.